I'm in Everett outside of one of the hospitals where for the first time in more than 20 years, nurses will go on strike tomorrow morning. It's a five day strike and they say the biggest reason behind the strike is staffing shortages. Both the hospital and nurses agree staffing is a problem, but they disagree on how to fix it. At six tomorrow morning, we feel pretty prepared at this point. Providence Regional Medical Center nurses will go on strike. We have brought in replacement nurses uh, who will be taking over the care of our patients starting tomorrow morning. Chief Executive Christy Carrington says replacement nurses, along with volunteers, some who have medical backgrounds, will fill the void left by the striking nurses. We can never completely fill the void of our nurses. Our nurses are amazing. But despite that sentiment, seven months of negotiations have stalled over staffing. We know that staffing um, is a huge challenge. We hope to get a contract that improves our work environment and in turn improves the care that we're able to provide patients. Kelly Johnson, a nurse at the hospital who's been in the bargaining room, says this strike shouldn't come as a surprise. We have been, you know, raising our voices and expressing our concerns for a year and a half now. King 5 has not seen the specific language both sides were asking for, but the hospital told us they were offering a 21 and a half percent raise over the next three years, giving nurses more money on top of that raise if they decide to come in to cover shifts and creating flexible scheduling so nurses can have a better work life balance. The nurses did not accept that offer because they say it didn't address their main concern staffing shortages. Kelly says that she hopes this strike does not last for five days and that the hospital comes back to the bargaining table. Chrissy says their main concern over the next five days is to make sure patients are taken care of. Live in Everett, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News.